Um, what? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm Sincerity, once again coming back at you with another video. And today, the video is going to be ranting about one, my parents, and two, some recent things that have been happening in the YouTube's communities. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Parents taking my cables. Alright, so, I'm quite a generous person, I'd consider myself to be. So. I have no problem or issue with my parents using my cables. If my mum comes in and she says, hey, can I borrow your cable? I'm like, yeah, sure, fine, you know, use my cable, you know, that's fine. But when they just come in my room without my permission, have a complete disregard if I'm there or not, and just don't even ask and just take my cables straight out that socket, it annoys the living shit out of me. Because when I come home and I want to charge my phone or use my phone in bed, I can't. And I usually get home and my phone's on like freaking like 3%. So it's going to die anyway. I need I need to charge it. And I don't really want to sit on my computer and just wait for my phone to reach like 40%, which would take the best part of like an hour because it's so slow. And then just like use my cables then. Like, bitch, no. So when they take my cables, it annoys the hell out of me. Don't do it. No, that's naughty. No. Thing is, uh, they always pull the excuse, oh yeah, well, you stolen my cable. Um, no, I keep my cables to myself. It's you guys who keep coming in, nicking my cables, thinking that I've nicked yours because yours has magically disappeared. No, I keep my cables to myself. And I'm actually resolving this issue because I have just gone ahead and bought, literally this morning, a set of braided cables for my iPhone. For, I think one from Anchor and then one from another company, both on Amazon. If you want them, I'll link them in the description or whatever. But yeah, that should solve that issue. So then we each have a separately colored cable. My dad's going to have the white crappy Apple ones. Mum's going to have like a gold um, cable, a gold braided cable. And I'm going to have the silver one. So basically, we all keep separate. Those are our cables. If we lose them, your problem, you're buying a new one. Okay, so the second point I want to address that's been going on in my lifestyles recently is my dad taking my speaker. All right, so I have the JBL Charge 2. Pretty decent speaker. I will pretty much guarantee that it is the best sounding speaker and the best speaker for bass that you will find for under £100. It is blows me away, and I use it as a separate charger as well. That's beside the point. So, essentially, get in your head. It's useful to me. I like it. I like using a speaker. Good sound quality when I don't want to listen to my heavy bass bow system all the time. So, I wake up because I don't know why I've been having some like insomnia. I can't actually like get to sleep until like freaking 4 a.m. Then I wake up at like 11 a.m. And then when I wake up, when I wake up, when I open my eyes, what do I see? I see the horrible sight in front of me that my JBL Charge 2 is not there. It's not there anymore. Like, how could someone use someone else like that? I think it's the worst thing is I actually paid for the speaker. Like, I, I earned the money. I got the speaker and I paid it out of my own money and then dad just says he pulls the bullshit excuse that oh yeah if you hadn't um if you don't work for us then you have no money so we gave you jobs so technically speakers the speaker is ours and I'm like I'm sorry but in what planet does that logic actually work this is no no just no it's like what are you thinking no just cut the crap my speaker, I can decide what I want to do with said speaker, and you can butt your nose out of my personal speaker life, thank you very much. End of that one. The third thing I want to address, I know this is going on quite long, is being told not to save a project. Okay, so you guys wouldn't know, but when I was editing my room tour, basically a while ago, right before I left my house, is that a lot of the like the shaky footage which is still like shaky as I had to put uh, D shakers on it and obviously that causes a lot of lag because it's quite CPU intensive so I got told to disable autosave so then it would reduce the lag on the system and basically midway through the project and I'm putting all the D shakers here and it crashes and it hits me that I've just lost everything I've lost about the best part of like five hour work so I was quite annoyed, and that happened again with my moving house video, because I was going to edit that. I, I literally put about eight hours editing into it, and obviously because I disabled autosave or not re-enabled it, I lost everything. So I just thought, you know what, screw this, I'm done with editing, you know what, 
I'm I'm done. I'm not doing it. I'm not spending another eight hours just for me to possibly lose it again. Because the video always feels worse the second time you have to edit it. It it just does. Well for me anyway. So the fourth thing I want to rant about is going out shopping, especially with my mum. Because she says, oh yeah, I just want to go into Solly Hole just to, you know, get a few things, you know, maybe some shoes and you can get your hair cut. But when we get there, she actually makes like a full blown day out of getting some what, freaking shoes. Like we go in, we go into Clark's, we get the shoes. I decide, yes, I like those shoes. Those shoes are nice. I want those shoes. And then we get the shoes. And then she moseys off into like, I don't know, freaking BHS or some other store with clothes. Like, it's so annoying because literally I expected to spend, what, three hours most, including travel time, to go out, get shoes, get my hair cut, come back, end off, done. And then I can get some more videos done, some more graphic arts done, and then I can work on my personal projects that I do in my free spare time. So, obviously, that's not the case, especially last night, because last night it happened, that's why I'm ranting about it today, because I just wasn't feeling it last night, so I was quite tired, because I shit you not, we left the house at about 11 o'clock, we got back at nearly 20 to 11 the following evening, but not the following evening, it's the evening of the same day, okay, so we got back at like quarter to 11, which is just absolutely ridiculous, we spent like nearly 12 hours out of the house, in 12 hours, I could have made, and possibly rendered, a new intro, made, and produced, like, two videos. I could have made, if a graphic art takes me about an hour each, I probably could have made, including breaks, about 10 graphic arts. It's just ridiculous. Like, all that stuff, I could have done, but no, I spent it pointlessly walking around Touchwood, nodding and saying, oh yes, that looks nice. Like, no, like, the fuck. So... Yeah, that's, that's my rant on that. And the fifth thing that I want to address is the whole Marina Joyce thing, because you, you may already know, but that just got completely out of hand. Like, who, who, went, who went from, oh, she's acting kind of weird in her videos, to ISIS captured her, forcing her to make videos, and remaining normal, inviting people into weird, into weird, like, places in the middle of the night. Where did that come from? What person started that? And what's worse is that someone else actually recorded a impression of her voice and then uploaded it saying it was her. I'll, I'll play you the clip. Oh my god, like, who actually does that? Like, what in your right mind? I know it's more drama, and the thing is, though, what's worse is that Marina Joyce, given all this, she actually used it for her own channel. She has now got over a million subs, and she was only on, like, I think, was it four, or 500,000 before? But she was the fastest growing YouTuber in in the history of YouTube. She was on the freaking news, she was all over Drama Alert, she was all over pretty much every commentary channel, because I saw it on Leafy's one, Leafy's whole breakdown of it. But oh my god, it's just, it just annoys me how drama is like everywhere. Like, the human race has literally come and breeded into a species which like needs drama to survive. Like, it has not become something we just like. Like, we need it to survive. It is. It has become that far. And drama is just everywhere. And the whole thing between drama equals views and stuff like that just annoys me because I try and, I try and like, not get into it. Like, it's easy to talk about. It's like, oh, do you want some views today? Oh, yeah, let's talk about Marina Joyce. So let's talk about drama alert. And let's, you know, let's expose someone. Let's do that. It's just, it's bullshit. So, I don't really try and tie myself into drama, I'm not all about that drama life, I don't really like doing it, but yeah, I'm gonna end it there, because I think that's quite enough, so I've ranted quite a bit today, which is fair, fair to say. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that rant video, I know I went on for quite a while, about 9 minutes even, 
Um, but yeah, so smack that like button. It only takes 0.5 seconds if you're really quick. I've done it myself, bitch, try me. And hit subscribe if you want to get more content from me. Uh, when I get back to school, I will pre-warn you guys. I won't be releasing as many videos because obviously schoolwork right now in my last year of sixth form is quite important because like it is going to determine what university I go to, which you know it's it, it's no biggie, man. But anyway, like I said, smack that like button, hit the subscribe button for more content, more quality ass content from yours truly. And anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.